so the first box is right here. And this big uh, bad boy right here. This in here is from uh, Dick Sporting Goods. It's Mystery Tackle Box. It's the reserve box. Um, I just noticed myself looking down. So if you see me looking down, just because I have my phone in front of me, I want to make sure that um, I'm using my GoPro to record. I want to make sure that I'm getting everything in the camera view, and I want to make sure that, you know, things are, um, the lures and all that stuff that's in here, it's going to be easy to see. So I apologize if I'm looking down constantly. I just want to make sure that everything's in the right view. Um, but this right here is the Mystery Tackle Box. It's called their Reserve. It's about 200 bucks on uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. So that's probably where I get like 50, I'll probably say like 70% of my lures. Um, the Dick's Sporting Goods here in the West Town Mall in Madison has a really nice fishing selection. Same with the East Side and Sun Prairie. So a lot of times they run a lot of deals. And then plus like I get some of my sports uh, clothing from there and I get uh, my running shoes and all that stuff. So I use like Dick's Points and all that other good stuff. So let's go ahead and un open this. Uh, I haven't opened this yet, but I just from the looks of the pictures, it looks pretty sweet. So let's go here. I know it comes in a wooden crate. That's all I know. Oh, man, I don't know how to take this out. Let's take this out here. Oh, and of course, I took it out upside down. Oh, we'll keep the box to the side here. And this is what it looks like. Mystery tackle box reserve. And this is like a really, really nice box. And it says, Mystery Tackle Box, established 2020-12 by the Catch Co. Reserve, created, curated bass tackle. So, I mean, this thing looks awesome. So what's inside? The cu this curated crate is overloaded with the finest fishing goods from the world's top brands. Assembled to put you on the water faster and put fish in the boat. About 32 to 40 items around $265 value, limited edition fishing decal, tips to help you catch fish. Now we'll see what their customer support. Oh, cool. In the corner it says, do not litter, please recycle. Um, so this is one side, the other side, there's um, zip tie right here. There's the other side. Ow, probably just got a splinter. There's the other side, it's got the tag on it as well. And then and it doesn't really matter, but this is what the top looks like. And then, oh, it's also on the bottom as well. So that's pretty cool. This crate is like really cool. All right, let's cut this open here. And like I said, I got this from Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, if you go on shopcarls.com, I don't think they have this, if I'm not mistaken, because I just got some stuff from there as well. So... I think this is only at Dick's. I'm not 100% sure, but that's the only website I looked at and just like out of curiosity, I saw it. So I got it. Uh, and then let's open this side. This is so cool. So this is what the bottom of it looks like. It's got these little things here, probably just to keep it from shifting around. And then in here is a box. I'm pretty sure it's all full of good stuff. And then, yeah, this is what the box looks like on the inside. I mean, it's pretty sweet if you want to give it like as a gift. I think it's super cool. And I don't think, um, I don't think anybody else is doing anything like this, but I mean, this thing's got some weight to it. It's pretty nice. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. It's just a plain white box. see what we got in here. Holy smoly. Like I said, this is my first time doing an unboxing video and my first time unboxing any type of tackle box or deal. Cause usually I will go to like Dick's Sporting Goods or else I'll sit on obviously tackle warehouse and I'll pick every single one of my lures. Cause I just feel like a lot of the stuff that's in here, like I'm never gonna use. But that's the whole point of these boxes 
is it's supposed to challenge you to do things that you normally wouldn't do yourself. So 10,000 fish, um, let me get closer. So 10,000 fish, it's like a little booklet about the Yodo worm. Um, how to fish it, how to rig it, pro tips, the 10,000 fish Yodo worm, the key features, using it as a trailer, how, when, where, Texas rig. So it's super neat. It teaches you, you know, all these different techniques and stuff like drop shot. I don't drop shot. Like I don't at all. And I think next season is going to be a lot different for me because I definitely want to learn how to drop shot because I feel like some areas where I fish and, you know, obviously in the local areas, there's like a lot of vegetation, but there's also some deep pockets where you can definitely throw the drop shot. And I think it would be a very, very good, um, style of fishing to catch more bass when I'm only getting like four or five when I'm going out there for like five, six hours. Um, so this also tells you what's inside. You can scan the QR code as well. Um, and I guess scan this doohickey with your phone's camera for a list of this box's products, pro tips and videos. Nice. I'm going to keep that, set that aside. Um, so this basically gives you like a lot of this is so cool. I'm like so excited. I don't know if you can tell by my face, but this is like so cool. There's so much stuff in here. A lot of stuff that I wouldn't use, stuff that I wanted to buy myself, but just couldn't come to, uh, just come to it because I figured I'll probably want to use it once and I'll probably just give up. But this is the Guggen Squad revolver. So I actually have one of these. And I actually caught my biggest bass of the year with this. It was a four pounder. So that's super cool. So it tells you all about the revolver. And then on the back side, it tells you like gear recommendations, how to fish it, all this other good stuff. So pretty, pretty neat. And then this like uh, MTV, it's kind of, it must be like their tips and tricks and stuff like that. So it's super cool. Like I said, it's really good for um beginners and those that um really really want to learn a whole bunch of different techniques and you know there's a lot of forums and stuff out there there's so much information out there i mean it is the internet so there's a lot of information out there but it's nice because they basically just centralize all this for you and everybody that's involved with this company um I don't know too much about them. I mean, you can go on shopcarls.com and you can go on Catchco and you can read all about them, but I mean, they know what they're doing. Obviously they've been around for a while. They probably caught tons of bass. So that's why they're putting all this stuff together. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go through and go through these one by one. So this right here is 13 fishing and their cliff banger. So this guy right here is pretty sweet. It must be like their, I think this is what they call fire craw. You can see my ring light that's in the background of this reflection too. So I don't know if that's gonna hurt it or not at all. But uh, it's definitely pretty cool. It says cliff banger 60. Um, it's a floating, it's a half ounce. I don't know, it's two inches and three eighths weighs I ha weighs a half ounce. Color is mud bug punch. I don't know what the diving depth is, but cliff banger 60 is what it's called. Eight feet. It's written right on the uh, bill here. I don't know if you can see it. Eight feet right there. That is freaking cool. It's probably like a medium diver. I only have like two or three of those. So next up is by Optimum Baits, Boom Boom, Panicked Edition, Professional Angler Fred Rambanas, Signature Swim Bait. 3D scale design, lifelike head and body, head shimmy. And this thing is massive. Holy smokes. I mean, look how big my hand is, right? This thing is massive. This thing is so cool. 
So suggested tackle and lure specs, heavy cover line, 50 to 70 pound braid uh, for heavy cover, open water, 20 pound fluorocarbon, seven to a seven and 11 heavy action rod gear ratio for the reels, six and a half to one. Rig with a wide gap screw lock, weighted, swim bait hook, eight odd or larger. This thing weighs 1.4 ounces and it's six inches long. That is so cool. I probably never would have bought this if it wasn't in the box. I don't have anything heavy enough to throw this. Actually, it's six inches. I actually do have some six inch swim baits from my uh, Bass Pro Shop in there. Speech, yeah. All right, so this is Strike Pro and their Beakster 110 tournament grade. Look at this thing. Like color on this thing, looks gorgeous. Um, four inches and five sixteenths of an inch. Weighs a half ounce, diving depth of six to nine feet, and it is floating. So it's pretty cool. The bill's a lot different from anything that I would have ever thought of um, to throw. I normally just throw like your typical jerk baits and stuff like that, but it's a really cool, you know, it's got the blue on top, the chartreuse at the bottom. It's got the red dots. It's got the awesome looking eyes in it as well. So it's pretty neat, and that bill is like, it's like cupped almost. That's pretty cool. Next is, oh, I have one of these. So this is a Guggen Squad Hummer, and it looks like this is, what is this? Three eighths of an ounce. I actually have this same exact one, black and blue with a gold blade. I love this thing, and this thing is really noisy. It's a lot noisier than my Strike King um, buzz bait that I have. So it's a lot noisier. I just wish these would come with trailer hooks uh, like the Strike King does, but I believe Guggen Squad is, I think at the end of this year or beginning of next year, I saw an iCast that they're coming out with like a whole bunch of brand new stuff, which is super cool. Like trailer hooks, like I think I saw in their video, like they might have an, like an open cast reel and a bait caster too, a spinning reel. So super cool. Oh, I've always wanted these. So these are the Headbangers uh, Rocket Head. And I don't know if I like the reflection of that with my ring light here. So basically what this is, is it is, um, there's hooks right here. You can see that. There's hooks right here, and this almost makes it like, um, it gives it like that wobble to wobble side action. Um, if you go on Headbangers or you go on Shop Carlos, you can watch the videos and stuff like that. It's super cool because it definitely changes the whole action of the bait. It's just like, kind of like the cycle bait, where it is a spinner bait, but it's got, um, it's got like different hardware on it, and it makes it almost like wobble like this like a spinner like a traditional spinner bait tracks like this but the cycle bait tracks like this so it's pretty cool and this kind of does the same thing and i think you can use this um i think you can actually swim this in the water or you, i think you use this as a top water but it's two pieces they're three eighths of an ounce designed for use with crawls bugs and lizards that's pretty cool I definitely want to keep that. Next up is Blitz Lures and their Popping Frog. So I've never bought anything from Blitz Lures, but I mean, this Popping Frog is pretty big. It's like, it's like four fingers wide. It's pretty big, it's got a pretty big body. I think that's the size of my, my Guggen Frog, my Filthy Frog, but it looks pretty, pretty neat. Typical leopard pattern, um, green on top, chartreuse at the, uh, the yellow at the bottom. I mean, it's pretty cool. I don't know. The body seems pretty soft. The hooks look pretty solid. It's got the, you know, the little feet there. Pretty, pretty cool. 
It doesn't tell me how much. Margarita Popper is what it's called. 2020 Blitz Lure LLC. Pretty cool. This is what it looks like. I'll back that up just a little bit so you can see it. Pretty cool. Next one is Carl's Amazing Spinner Baits. So three eighths of an ounce, looks like a chartreuse in white. It's got, oops, it's got a gold blade and it's got a silver blade with a mustad hook. So pretty cool, pretty neat. Um, like I said, whenever I buy spinner blade, a spinner bait, I always normally buy two. I buy two of the same kind because one, I will run it like this with a trailer. Another one, I will rip off the skirt and I will run that with a trailer as well. Just to kind of give it like a, di like a different presentation. I know the skirt is supposed to like pulse in the water to kind of, you know, obviously just do something a little different, but sometimes I like to take off the skirt as well just to change out the presentation just a little bit. Next we have Excite Baits. XB1, XB-1, dives two to five feet, and it is three eighths of an ounce. Has weight transfer system, distinct action and sound, tungsten ball bearings. So this is pretty neat itself. It looks, sounds pretty neat as well. Let me get this better in the camera. So pretty cool, pretty neat. Is this a smaller profile bait, but it is three eighths of an ounce. So it's pretty nice. I mean, square bill, it's got a really nice design. It's probably like a ghost shad. Blushing shad is what it's called by Excite Baits. X-C-I-T-E. Very nice. All right, so we got a live target shiner. I actually have one and it has a pulsating tail. Oops, has a pulsating tail. Um, where it's actually a little bit thicker and it's actually super neat. Um, the only thing I don't like is I don't have the right setup to kind of fish this stuff because I feel like sometimes you have to um, reel it pretty fast. So even though my, my all around reel is seven and a half to one, I still feel like I'm just burning it for some reason. Like it's just, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm just weird. Um, but this looks like it has a hook on top. It also looks like it has a hook at the bottom. I really can't tell. I don't want to open this up though. But that is really cool. And then we got some finesse shads by Z-Man. So it is four inches. It's an eight pack. Um, I normally through z-man i don't have i have a couple of their plastics and i love them i just know that like you're not supposed to store their plastics with other plastics um you're supposed to always just keep them in the bag uh it even says on the back do not store the less tech with other kind of plastic baits yeah so this is pretty cool i don't um i normally don't fish finesse i just don't have the patience for it i'm more of a power fisherman so anything that's swimming, anything that's moving, anything that's making noise, um, I really got away from using Cinco's and stuff like that. Cause like I said, I'm such a weird power fisherman. Um, but like I said, it definitely won't hurt to try to get back into it. Cause like I said, it can only make me better. Cause the more you learn, the better you'll become. So this is by Gambler. This is called the BB Cricket. And these just look like craws. So it's pretty neat, um, like a dark green on top, orange belly at the bottom. It's got some gold flakes in it. So pretty neat. Um, maybe I'll definitely want to start doing some Ned rigs and stuff this year with, um, what was I doing? Ned rigs and drop shot. Next up we have the Grass Hero Jig. So I don't have any of these, I don't think. Not from Guga, and I do have some from Lethal Weapon though. Um, Lethal Weapon is a mom and pop company from Lacrosse, so I was like, all right, you know, they're pretty comparable. Um, I don't know exactly what the quality of these are versus Lethal Weapon, but I guarantee you they're both 
high quality. Um, this Guggen Squad is a bluegill. It's a four odd, so it's a quarter ounce. Like I said, I normally don't fish finesse, but maybe it's something that I'll get into this year. But I just don't know. I've been, you know, diehard power bass fisherman, so. And this is a Guggen Squad 5 sixteenths of an ounce. It's a little juice finesse jig. So again, finesse fishing, not really my style. Um, this is Okeechobee Craw. Oh, but yeah, finesse fishing and stuff, not, not really my style. This, oh, I did say it is a bluegill, grass hero bluegill. There's so much stuff in here. Holy smokes. I mean, for 200 bucks, yeah, there better be a lot of stuff in here. Um, next up is, what is this? A spin walker by 13 fishing. This is so interesting. This spin walker, right? And look when I rotate it. It's so cool. It's like you can see that V shape at the bottom. You can see where it's gonna clack. And it's got beads and stuff. Super cool. Next up is Biovex Spinnerbait Stand Gun. Three eighths of an ounce, and it says, or three eighths color, an O2 ounce, but I think the stickers got put on backwards. Cause I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be three eighths of an ounce and the color is O2. So this is pretty neat. It looks like it's a Japanese lure. There's a sticker here. I'm not really, I think it's a Japanese lure because uh, if you look at the back of the packaging, it's all written in Japanese. So that's pretty neat. There's a lot of cool directions, but I mean, there's a lot of cool information, but I just can't read it. That is super cool. Definitely interesting. It comes with two silver, I believe, willow blades. Colorados are a little bit more rounder. All right, so this is called the Jack Slap Blade by Catch. It is tungsten and it it's a quarter of an ounce. So it's by Catch Outdoors. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge finesse fisherman. I like to power fish, but I mean, you never know, you know, maybe it's something that I'm gonna have to try this year. And it looks like up here, you can switch where you wanna tie your line. So that's pretty neat. And the detail on here is pretty wicked. So looks like it's nickel as well. That's the, that's what it says on the back. Quarter of an ounce, nickel. That is really cool. All right, so next we have full Dominion series hoax fish. It looks like their their version of a plastic. It's called the Chisler. It's molded right on there. It's pretty interesting because it looks like it's uh, designed in Clay, Arkansas. Not for human consumption. Uh, I hope we all know that. Um, it's got a different style head on it. I'm gonna turn this ring light away. It's not really a favorite of mine right now. So it's got a different style head on it. It's not like your normal Cinco. Oh, sorry. Right there. It's got these ribs in it. And then if you, so it's got obviously where the hook goes. I don't know if you can see the chiseler in there, but it's also got like a tail, a tail and stuff at the end. So it's super interesting. Super, super cool. Obviously there's so many great bait companies out there that I've never even heard of. So, but it looks like it's probably about four inches, four and a half. That's super cool. All right, oh, we got another live target. Bait ball spinner rig. 
three eighths of an ounce, and this is must be like a little baby mini A rig. This is really really cool. Um, there's directions on the back, flash and vibration, deflection, and there's an interchange system. Oh, you can interchange one, two. So if you look at it from this way, right? There's one here, there's one here, one here, and then there's one at the bottom as well. So that's pretty cool. And obviously the one at the bottom is the one with the hook. And I believe these three up at top, they're called teasers. Um, I don't know much about A-Rigs or any type of rigs like this because I normally don't fish them, but there's definitely something cool to try this year. And then there is a gold blade right in the middle. So super cool. Interchangeable tweez teasers. And you can interchange the target as well. So these you can change out. And then this you can change out as well. So that'd be pretty cool. We'll put some some Kitex or you know some Bass Pro Shop stuff on there. This is Liquid Mayhem, is what it's called. Nightcrawler scent, made with real night crawlers. This stuff probably smells really bad, but that's what the fish want to eat. That's what they want to eat. No fish can resist. This is pretty cool. I've never seen this. I'm not big into um, scents, using scents. Um, I do. I did try it over this past summer, and I have no idea if it makes a difference. I have one that's um, like a chartreuse. It's like a garlic flavor, and they have one that's like a red. Um, they're like it's made by Excite, I think, which is actually the ones that made this this bad boy right here. Um, but yeah, it comes like a, it's like a pen, like you just take it and you just rub it on the lure and it changes the color and you're supposed to give it, I mean, it smells, I mean, I can tell when it's open, when the cap pops off, I can smell it. So, um, but we will have to see how all these lures work out. Uh, this is by Realis Vibration 65 Nitro, and this is a lipless crankbait and it's so cool because it's like flat. It's like, it's got a different shape to it. So it's really, really cool. And I like the color. It's like a bone with like a smoky head. Oh, this is an, another Japanese lure. Lower center of gravity, high density weight. They didn't mark any of it to see, uh, to see what the weight was. But I mean, look at the back. I mean, it's got Japanese writing on it, so I just assume it's good. Next, we have 10,000 fish Sakoshi bug. So I've never used these, but I've seen a lot of other YouTubers use them, and they've just been killing it. So I assume these are good. I wouldn't doubt it. Like I said, um, this is black and blue flake. Again, to avoid reactions, do not store stretch X, stretch X plastic products with other soft plastics or in a plastic storage container. So these must be something you want to store by yourself, just kind of like um, the Z-Man stuff. But made with ultra durable, high buoyancy stretch X plastic. They are two and a half inches. Nice. Next we have X Zone, three and a half inch Adrenaline Bug Juniors. It's called Purple Shadow. Brandon Polinick, Angler of the Year is on here. Pro Series X Zone Lures. So it looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm a really big fan of darker stuff. Um, I don't know why, but you can see it's like a dark purple. There's some flakes and stuff in there. I just, I typically like to just throw like darker stuff out there. I don't know, maybe it's just cause I'm used to, you know, fishing around, you know, like stained muddy water, but I don't know. I typically will grab, there's one, two, three, four, five. I typically will grab something darker right off the bat. If I'm just out there um, fishing, just trying to get a feel for what the fish are in the mood for. 
This is Carl's Amazing Baits. It's called the Runt. It actually looks really neat. It's like a purple on top. It's got chartreuse bottom. It's got some stripes on it. This is pretty cool. Two inch chartreuse gill. So it looks like a little smaller square bill. I don't know. It doesn't tell me the diving depth. But definitely really, really interesting. Definitely, like I said, just a different thought process. You know, like you could have 50 square bills, but if they're all exactly the same, just different color, like you're not, I feel like you're not really changing any of the presentation. You know what I mean? Like this one's got a different shape body. Um, let me get it closer. It's got a different shape body. You know, it's got a different um, shape square bill where the square, square bills are usually oversized and then it comes around. This square bill looks like it's just a little rounded. So, you know, it gives it a little different wobble. Next up we have, whoa, this looks intense. Cree Craw June Bug, three and three eighths of an inch. There's five pieces. It's got an anise scent by Weston Scandinavia. So this looks really, really cool. And it's like a dark purple with some green flakes in it. Really, really neat. This is what it is. June bug. So you can use an EWG offset hook for a Texas and Carolina ray, or you can put it on a bass jig or a jig head. Sorry. Hook slots and hook slots in the back and belly. Oh, that is so neat. Very, very neat. And of course, I'm pretty sure they didn't put that revolver paper in there and not include one. So this is a Guggen Squad revolver. Um, this is their version of like a topwater noisy bait. Um, obviously a lot of people know the Whopper Flopper. Then there's the Berkeley Chapo. Um, but a lot of the Ber like the Whopper Flopper and the Berkeley stuff, they're um, the tail end is actually what causes that plopping noise, but Guggen put theirs in the middle. So super interesting, super neat. Um, it does make a different noise. Um, and then they have a hook in the front and in the back, I believe. Nope. One's right, right there. Let me get in here. One's right there and right there. So super interesting um like i said i've used one of these before mine is i think they only make these in one size so it's four and a half inch it's a half ounce and mine is i think they call it a nightclub it's all black so um like i said i typically if i had to choose one lure that you know like if i was only gonna buy one uh revolver it would definitely have to be a darker color i mean that's just i don't know it's just something that um I always go towards so but this is really cool it's called this it's called a shattered shad so it's really cool it's really neat I I really like their stuff I think Guggen they make some some killer stuff so that's really cool super super neat and then this is boy ducket swim bait series so BD swim bait series four inches so like this right here super super realistic um it's got it looks like it's got you know scales at the top uh you can look at it i mean it's pretty neat it's got that that black dot and it's got the eyes on it as well so <clears throat> like i said it's really really neat really either good for um you can use it by itself or you can use it as a trailer um or you can, you know, like I, like I said before, I normally buy two spinner baits. One, I'll just rip the skirt right off. Um, well, I shouldn't say rip off. I take it off because I can use it as a backup skirt if I can salvage it. And then I will throw a spinner bait with just the, you know, it's just got the, um, the weighted head. And then I will throw one of these bad boys on in the back. It looks kind of weird, 
but I don't think the majority of the fish can tell that it looks like it has two fish heads. I don't think they can tell. So, but like I said, change it up just a little bit because you know, you never know who's been out there throwing spring baits for who knows how long out there before you. So it's kind of just to, it's nice to just, um, just throw it out there, you know? So these are net baits. Um, it's called a dagger. The color is June bug. And these actually look pretty sweet. But like I said, I don't want to open any of this stuff. But like I said, I just want to keep it in the package just until I actually have to use it. But it looks pretty cool. It looks like, I don't know if you can see it in here, but it looks like this area is where you would normally hook it. And it's got its own like, it looks like ribs. And then it's got the appendages at the end. So it looks really, really cool. Let me see if I can separate. Work with me here. Okay. So, like right here. So this is the appendages. And then if you look right here, this body, like, it's like ribbed. It's like super cool. And I don't think you can break that stuff off. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like, it's super neat. And it's super cool. Oh, I actually like these. It's called Dagger by Netbait. And then, we'll save that one for last. Looks like we're dwindling down. So this is something that's really cool. It's something that I saw. Obviously, I follow a lot of these companies on Facebook and um, on Facebook, and I go on Tackle Warehouse a lot. But this is the 13 Fishing Jabber Jaw. So this is something that they created. Um, apparently, this piece right here swings back and forth when it's going through the water. I believe that's what it is. Or, well, not that piece, but the actual body itself will swing back and forth so it's supposed to give it a different action it's supposed to um jabber jaw bill provides erratic swimming action so patent pending metal cheeks provide enhanced clicking noise that is so cool with vmc hooks and like i said you can look right here it even says right here you know so this is like really really cool it's really interesting to see like i said at the end of the day it's just about giving that different presentation, right? Like this looks just like your standard square bill, like your standard, you know, crankbait, right? But they tweak the cheeks a little bit, uh, made it metal. And then this piece right here in the front um, swings. So, you know, it causes the whole body to swing and that will click and clack. And it just, it just changes the presentation just a little bit. And, you know, Sometimes that could be all the difference that you need. More gambler lures, uh, BB Cricket, super solid. So enhanced with gambler bite. It's probably scented as well. But like I said, I don't want to open this because I'm not going to use it. Not right now. Some more gambler stuff. Um, this stuff is pretty cool. Four inch flapping shad. So. It's actually got this flapper on the back and it looks like, so it looks like the tail lays flat when the body is, yeah. So it looks like the tail actually lays flat. So super interesting, super interesting. I thought the tail would go like this, but it looks like maybe when it goes through the water, it flaps, hence flapping shad. Oh, now that makes sense. So pretty cool, super neat, super interesting. Like I said, it's just di different presentations. It just gets you to kind of think outside the box, things that, you know, maybe you would never think of, like, um, like you know, always hooking, you know, obviously the Kytec Storm is just like, it's so phenomenal. I mean, obviously the stuff that they make is phenomenal. Um, but, you know, their, their shad imitation with that standard tail, sometimes, you know, you change it up to that flap, or change it up to like a live target pulsator. Like it's just, you know, those little type of presentations could land you a bigger bite potentially. So this is a tube style bait by Vertical Lures, um, but it's actually got 
so you know how tubes it almost look like it has like a skirt attached these have like four separate appendages or five or six maybe yeah, it looks like five or six appendages so it's pretty cool um, I typically don't fish tubes um, I used to a lot when I was younger but I've gotten away from tubes but like I said it doesn't hurt because now this will obviously start to get me thinking about tubes again so super cool super awesome and then of course why didn't why didn't I even think about it the yodel worm so obviously they put that um, booklet in there for a reason because obviously they would have included it in the box so this is the uh, 10,000 fish yodel worm by catch co uh, 4.75 inches it says irresistible tickle tail um, this is a green pumpkin pearl and of course on the back it tells you all about how to rig it vertical rigged body horizontal rigged body do it as a drop shot a shaky head a texas rig bladed or you know spinnerbait so really really cool really really neat and like i said it's different presentation different things you know everybody's just trying to make their own little tweaks or maybe come up with something revolutionary but it's just sometimes the little small details that will um trigger that extra bite or the only bite if you're like me so and then last but not least this is by lit lifted jigs lifted jigs it's called a super jig it is color of sun craw and it is three eighths of an ounce with a mustad hook so super cool super neat chip resistant um paint 42 strand skirt five odd hook stand up presentation so again with the even in the jig head market itself there's football jigs there's stand-up jigs there's shaky head jigs like there's so many so like i said it's nice to kind of dip into boxes like this because it gives you an opportunity like i said to get lures that you typically wouldn't buy yourself because like nine out of ten times i'm probably 99 percent of the times i'm probably not gonna buy a stand-up jig head like it's just you know, like I said, I, I'm a power fisherman. Like, I'm not going to throw it out there and then bounce it off the ground a couple of times and then let it sit and then bounce it and then kind of just like, you know, just working it at the bottom, especially if I fish like Lake Monona or it gets pretty deep. Um, but like I said, that's my thought process talking about it out loud. But now that, you know, I'm running it through my head, like I could literally get this stand-up jig head. It's three hits of an ounce, right? It doesn't mean I have to chuck it way out there. But, you know, I can chuck it 10, 15, 20 feet in front of me, and then I'll use either this tube, right? I'll either use this tube, um, green pumpkin with the red flake, or else I'll use, where are they? I did them before. Oops. These guys right here. So, imagine this BB Cricket, right? This Gambler Goldfish. These are like crawl trailers, right? with this jig head I mean the colors are very similar the colors are very similar to each other and they go hand in hand I mean because and this is a stand-up jig head so when you throw it it's gonna stand up like this it's gonna stand up like this and then these appendages are gonna be kind of floating up you know so it's gonna it's gonna almost imitate maybe like a semi-dead crawfish or something like that but like I said, it's really cool, it's really neat, because now it's like, I never would have thought of this combination. Never would, never, never. Standing jig head, not really my style. Move on to something else. Maybe I'll go get a different, you know, maybe I'll go get like a 13 fishing jabber jaw or something like that, you know what I mean? So, like I said, it's really, really cool. It's really, really neat to get uh, something like this. Obviously, if you can afford it, I mean, it is 200 bucks, so the price is pretty hefty. And then last but not least, a Bassmobile sticker. Nice. By Catch Co. Awesome. Um, like I said, everything came in this white box. And that white box was in this MTB Reserve crate. So super cool. Super neat. 
Um, it is all made out of wood. It's super awesome. You can use this as decor later on around in the house too as well to store stuff. So like I said, that was my first unboxing. I know it's really long because like I said, it's a $200 box. So, you know, I wanted to go through every single lure and there's a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of great stuff. So, um, like I said, at the end of the day, it's 200 bucks. If you can afford it, awesome. If not, MTB does offer um, subscription stuff as well. There's, you know, a regular, there's an MTB box, there's a pro, there's an elite. Um, they have the mother load. Guggen Squad has their own stuff as well. So like I said, just sometimes, for the most part, it, it's super nice because like I said, it's gonna get you thinking outside the box, typically what you're used to and what you're not used to. So again, uh, thank you for watching. Like I said, I know it is a pretty long video. I mean, I'm looking at the GoPro, it says it's like almost 54 minutes now. But like I said, I wanted to go through each and every single lure just to kind of give you an idea of what you're paying for, for 200 bucks, you know? But thank you for your time. I hope you all enjoy these type of videos because like I said, I will be doing more unboxing as well and hopefully I'll try to keep it a little bit short. Again, uh, thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for always supporting me. Um, thanks for all the love. And until next time, be safe, be kind. If you can, throw out a line because you never know what you're gonna catch. Thank you, peace.